Hey guys, so I'd mentioned earlier that I wanted to try putting Ranger alcohol inks in some empty Copic markers. And um, even though I'd ordered empty Copic markers, um, specifically empty sketch markers, a few, at least two months ago, they took a while to come in. Well, they finally came in today, so I thought I would go ahead and do that for you guys so you could, so we could all see together um, if this even works. Uh, I've noticed, and a couple of other bloggers have pointed out that the alcohol ink from Ranger feels a little bit heavier than Copic's various inks, so that might be an issue, and hopefully if that is an issue, I can point that out to you guys in time. This is my color chart of the um, Ranger ink colors I currently own and I have four empty y um, empty sketches right here as well as my Copic tweezers and I think I'm gonna go with red pepper sunshine yellow bottle and mermaid these are all colors that I think are kind of lacking from the Copic system um I would love to do some more if this works out as there are other colors I would like to use um, and I really should not do this on, on top of my light table. That would be a huge mistake because I can't clean that off easily. Let me slip this under out of the way. All right, so I have my Ranger craft mat at the ready. I've got my tweezers, I've got my markers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the totally Un, untouched brand new um, nibs. There's no solution in these markers, nothing in them whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, wrong side, start disassembling them. And lay them out here. And let's start with red pepper. And fortunately, the little squeeze tip, if I can get in there, is small enough. And with never before filled Copics, it does actually take a little extra ink to get them going. Starting to, so okay, 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 okay. I overfilled you, I can tell. All right, so that one way overfilled, apparently. All right. Looks like I'm bleeding. This is why it was smart to move to the craft mat because I'm a mess. I'm going to cap this and get it cleaned up. Hey guys, pro tip. If you have an inky emergency to clean up, like I do right here, you can use some regular old rubbing alcohol to help clean up your mess. First, you want to dab up whatever is all over the place, whatever you're... Oh, don't want to drag any of your nibs into it. Uh, you want to clean up the liquid part portion of your disaster. And then you want to spray your alcohol. And it should come up as long as you're working on a non-porous surface. So I hope you guys found that tip helpful. I'm Becca Hilburn. Enjoy using your markers. Hey guys, I've got that mess mostly cleaned up. I think I'm going to have some permanent staining of my craft mat. I even managed to record a little PSA while cleaning it up. Um, and this is the first of my Ranger filled Copic sketches. And that's red pepper. And I way over filled it uh, because I am used to these things taking a lot, it seems like. Um, I'm going to try to be a lot more ginger with sunshine yellow. Mostly because I don't really want to waste a whole lot of ink. So 
let's see. All right. Hasn't gotten to the other side yet. Can you imagine how bad my hands are going to look? It looks like I cut myself really bad, but that's that red pepper. And for those of you who are wondering to yourself, well, why should I, why should I consider buying empty Copic sketches to put my, um, my ranger inks in? If you have ranger inks, maybe, maybe you don't have any ranger inks. That's cool too. Um, I just started amassing a collection of these little guys. I mentioned them in other videos. And I thought, well, I've got some colors that Copic, that I don't own in Copic, so why not use them? On to Mermaid. Plus I wanted to even see if they would work in these markers. And I wanted to see, cause they come down really intense when they're straight from the bottle. Um, I wanted to see if them using them in a marker form would make any difference. They also seem thicker than various inks. Um, so I wanted to see if that would make any difference as well. So I bought a four pack of empties on Amazon. Uh, many art supply stores, like dedicated art supply stores, um, will sell empties as well in their Copic um, selection. Uh, they're not a whole lot less expensive than um, the filled ones. So this isn't something to do in lieu of if, if you're already thinking about Copics, if you already want Copics, this isn't something to do in lieu of that. It's, you know, for those of you who do have some of these Ranger inks or maybe some of the pinata inks around your studios or your craft rooms and you'd like to, you know, you maybe you'd like to make a matching marker, right? Um, marker would be good for little spot touch-ups or you can work the color into um, clothing or hair, you know just to add a little versatility to your studio. So, I hope Red Pepper has decided to stop leaking. I think, I think that's about it for Red Pepper. So we've got, so far these markers are pretty much unmarked other than poor Red Pepper, which is just all stained with red even though I tried to clean it off. Um, so, I'm going to, um, I guess I'm going to be cheap. This is, this is a swatch paper I had originally used for my Windsor and Newton piece that I was working on with their markers. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and swatch for you guys. And let's pull in real tight, real close so you can see what I'm doing. So here's red pepper handles like a Copic when it's in the Copic. Here is, oh, it's a dark one. Uh, it looks like bottle. Here is, that's Mermaid, and Mermaid's Drippy. Who's surprised? Its name is Mermaid. Did it get to both ends? Oh yeah, I overfilled this one. Having overflow problems set that aside and dab a little bit of the excess away um usually i with the various inks you can get an idea of um how much to fill but with the little ranger bottles there are no sort of indications on the bottle itself i'm just trying to wick away some of the excess ink Hold it down like this, it'll definitely, definitely start to, oh, look at that mess. <sighs> Aren't you glad this is happening in my studio and not yours, so you don't have to deal with all this? Anyway, that's Mermaid. And see how much lighter Mermaid as a marker is, even though it's still dripping. It's a very juicy marker right now. Even though, um... 
it's the same color, it comes out, so, <laughs> and then I drip on it, so much lighter. Um, maybe these are defective because it's awfully drippy. Oh, my cap's leaking all over the place too. Uh, so um, I hope you guys notice how much lighter it was um, when it's out of the marker than it is directly out of the bottle or dripped onto the paper. Of course, it's even lighter when it's dripped onto my hand. And I think I'm going to have to do something about this so it will stop dripping. Are you done? Have you had enough? Okay. That's mermaid. It's a pretty color. Um, it is more similar to the Copic blue greens that I have than I thought. Here is, what are you? Sunshine yellow. It's a little uh, darker than many of the yellows I have. So, so far, this seems to work. I'm going to add these into my regular marker rotation. And uh, hopefully you guys will see me use them in along with my other markers. And you can decide for yourself whether or not you want to use the alcohol inks you already own that aren't made by Copic in your Copic markers. Hopefully if there are any issues, we'll discover them together. One quick thing though, let me just pull out mm, Copic Colorless Blender. Oh yeah, definitely reacts. Ooh, picked some up right there. Seems like it's gonna work pretty much like your standard Copic marker. So, um, I don't really understand why Ranger hasn't released their own empty bodies. They do have the, it's not on my desktop. I must've squirreled it away. They do have the ginormous marker um, for their alcohol blender, but you have to fill that yourself. But I'm a little surprised that they haven't offered um, you know, marker body empties yet. Just sort of seems like the sort of thing they would be all over. Anyway, I'll check back in with you guys later. That was a demonstration, uh, a suggestion, maybe some inspiration for filling your Copic wide markers. I mean, your, dang it, I keep saying Copic Wide. Your Copic Sketch, but you probably could fill your Copic Wides with these too if you'd like to. Um, filling your Copic Sketch markers with Ranger or Pinata alcohol inks. I'm Becca Hilburn. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Becca Hilburn. I'm back with another video that combines two great things, alcohol inks and empty Copic markers. So in my last video, you saw me fill these suckers up with uh, some Ranger inks I had on hand that I happen to like the colors for. Now we're gonna go ahead and label these markers so they can enter the general population. Now one of the first things you can do is you see how this cap is sort of a milky white? Well, alcohol inks are meant to color plastic and are only removable with alcohol. So you can totally color the top of your cap with the ink inside to help you out later when you're referencing it. And if you're not getting a good representation of the color, something else you can do is you can color a piece of sticker paper and either put it on the cap or put it on the body of the marker. Now, another thing you can do with a fine point permanent marker is you can label the color on the blank side. So Ranger yellow. And if you really want to, you could even designate a color family on the cap for easy grabbing. So why don't, hmm. I think though I will avoid that. Oh, you made a mistake. You goofed. Maybe you colored the wrong color on your end or you wrote the wrong thing. Fear not. All you need 
is a paper towel and some simple rubbing alcohol. I like to keep mine in a pump bottle for easy uh, application, easy cleanup. And if your since your permanent marker is going to be alcohol based, just like the ink inside, you can wipe that away. And if you happen to get color on like the wrong color on your cap, you can wipe that away with some rubbing alcohol too. Who knew? Just make sure it's dry before you try to write on it again. You can now add your uh, hybrid markers to your general alcohol marker collection or you can have them in your in their own i'm gonna go ahead and put these with my general collection so they'll get more use i'm becca hilburn and if you like content like this if you found this useful or helpful please remember to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for even more helpful tips tricks demonstrations tutorials and reviews um have a good day guys bye